Good afternoon. As speaker, it is my privilege to bring greetings from the Congress to the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom on this important day for human rights, the release of your annual report. Around the globe, worshipers face dangers posed by autocracy, bigotry, and political upheaval. Today, you're once again shining a spotlight on these grave threats to religious liberty. This report is an invaluable resource for the administration, the Congress, and the public as we continue standing up for religious freedoms abroad. Let us salute the leadership of Chair Nadine Mayunza and Vice Chair Nori Turkel, whom I was proud to nominate. Thank you to all of the commissioners, including another nominee of mine, Anarima Margaba, who is nearing the end of her final term. And thank you to the hardworking staff who make possible USERF's essential mission. The ability to worship safely and freely is a cornerstone of American democracy, and it is a fundamental human right that transcends borders. When that freedom comes under threat, America has a responsibility to speak out. For more than two decades, USERF has helped fulfill that sacred obligation, boldly speaking truth to power. Seven of your commissioners have been sanctioned by China's government. Clearly, your advocacy is having an impact and even striking a nerve. The Congress's long-standing support of your work is bipartisan and bicameral. And in President Biden, we are blessed with a leader who is committed to translating your findings into a brighter, more just future. Together, we will preserve the promise of religious freedom for all. Thank you for all that you do to combat oppression and best wishes for a productive event. Thank you.